Ooh, hello everybody. Uh, welcome back. I was just chopping a bit of firewood. Right, so at the end of the previous episode I continued and I stacked the pile of potatoes in a nice big mountain, nice big heap, uh, just to really tidy up this place here so I can drive through. So you can really see how much we actually have here. So my job for today is to uh, hopefully make close to enough money to buy the new piece of land. We have £40,000. We need £85,000. We're going to gradually process these. We're going to put them in the washer and put them into the sorter. I do already have some in the uh, the Ferguson, in the Ferguson's trailer. So we'll put them into the sorter straight away. Um, and yeah, then we're going to uh, move on and do a bit of harvesting because that is another good source of income. Now I did have quite a few of my viewers message me about the buy used mod uh, where it messes up a few of your in-game features. Basically uh, the, the torch or the flashlight doesn't work, you can't pick things up and you can't jump. Um, so yeah the common denominator is the buy used mod. I do have exactly the same problem. I don't have uh, the use of my hands anymore. I have to do everything with the machines. Okay, so as that is all being sorted, let me just show you what we're going to buy. We have here a 2,730 litre bucket. We're going to replace our existing bucket with this, and we're going to go with, I think, just the standard cut, although that's very tempting. It doesn't cost any extra for a different colour, so yeah, that's pretty nice. The orange is quite bright. I don't know. I think actually maybe come to think of it, maybe this, maybe black would be better against the Massey Ferguson colour scheme. Uh, so we will go with that. Call me Mr. Unadventurous, but it, you know, it, it's pretty good. So we're going to have to spend £8,400 on that. Oh no, oh no, I can't use that either. Okay, let's just go into here and we'll have to do it the old fashioned way. Losing out on a bit of money there though. Right, okay, so. Let's get it attached. Oh yeah, I put the uh, the front weight onto the back. So that's going to help. Maybe I should have gone for the grey colour. Hmm, Massey Ferguson is red and grey. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. We can always uh, respray it later. I think everything is working fine here. Got the greenhouses working. They're quite noisy greenhouses. And uh, yeah, the obviously the windmill and everything just continues in the background. So, we're going to have to keep the Ferguson trailer, I think, for taking the washed potatoes out. I'm going to have to use the other one to take the washed potatoes to the sell point. But at some point we're going to have to have a trailer available for the grain, because I want to harvest well that field over there in front of us to begin with, although we might be able to keep it all just in the combine until the trailer is available. Now, how do we... yeah, I think you can high tip this. Just need to uh, remind myself on how to do that. There we go. So, yeah, having that extra capacity is going to speed things up. I need to put water in there as well. So, yeah, just to begin with, I'm just going to get this processor, or this washer, underway. Get it completely filled with water and dirty potatoes. Okay, so then we have a pig food pallet. No idea what to do with it. Obviously, if we ever get any pigs, then it would be useful. But I, yeah, I, don't know. I don't know if you can sell it anywhere. 
I think for now it's just going to have to go in storage somewhere. Uh, I have no idea where. But I just need to get it out of the way. And that's restarted. It's actually now empty. So our trailer should be pretty much full. Well, this should fill it. I would hope. And then we can make some money. I think once I have sold this, I will then harvest that field. Just to break things up a bit. Okay, I guess I could actually take a full bucket load as well. It would make sense if we're going to be towing the trailer with this tractor, which is highly likely, since there is nothing else to, uh, to tow it. Yeah, so if I fill this trailer up once again, not only will it resume the washing, but also it will uh, allow the sorter to continue as well. So it is a big job doing these potatoes. Um, it's probably not something I'm going to do again. I don't know. I'm probably just going to do it the once. But if it ends up being really profitable, I don't know. I probably will do it again. But it's just that, yeah, it's you, you can see it is a huge amount of work. And it might just be more effective uh, time-wise and money-wise as well just to do crops uh, when I say crops I mean cereal crops or something instead of potatoes instead of root crops instead of sort of this is more of a processing procedure if you know what I mean there is probably a much better word for what I just said <laughs> right um, yeah so we just need to wait for that to process a bit then we can get a full bucket load and then we'll take everything that should do it's been going for a while 64% almost just keep changing between this tractor and that one I might as well go and get another full load because this potato washer does have a storage compartment in here but it does fill up fairly quickly Great to see them washing, going through the water. It's almost mesmerizing. It's like floating through space. And then we have the potatoes which are being input. Yeah, there's not many left actually. That does need to be refilled. But first, we need to sell all that we've got already. And we need to start harvesting. But yeah, if anybody has any good ideas about the pig food, which is just the byproduct, please do post down below. It would be great to hear from you. Yes, at times 15, I think things do process quite quickly. It's taken another full trailer, meaning there'll be plenty in here to fill this up. There we go. So, yeah, we'll head off. It's actually good to have the trailer on the back. Bit of counterbalancing. Can we attach that with the weight? It looks like we might be able to. 50-50 chance. Uh, oh, nice, yeah. Good clearance. Fantastic, so we have here 17,230 litres. It's about, what is it, 300 or almost 400 pounds for a thousand litres. That price might have changed. Uh, it's actually increasing, brilliant. 386. Can't complain of that. Obviously, we should wait until the price is even higher, but we'll be resting soon, we'll be going to bed. So, uh, yeah. The price will still be increasing and hopefully it'll still be even higher by the morning when we sell even more. So what do I think of this bucket on the front? I think it is fantastic. It's just so good to have that extra capacity and well I think anybody who's used the wheel loaders with that bucket, the high tip bucket, uh, you'll know how useful it is to use that high dump bucket. It works so well. Yeah, I'm very pleased I got it. It's expensive but it's worth it. Uh, so it's over a thousand pounds for a bucket load. What's this going to be about? Six thousand pounds? This is the thing about potatoes, even premium potatoes. It's not worth, they're not worth that much for every thousand litres, but because you get so much of them, it really adds up. And we've already made back the money that was spent on the bucket. That's pretty good. 
Obviously this would work best as a time lapse because we can get everything done really quickly. I will be doing time lapses and mix things up. Yes, that was five, six, four, five. So yeah, that's pretty good money for what we took there, with it being potatoes. If that had just been a trailer load of standard potatoes, I think we'd have been uh, certainly taking a third off that price. So it makes all the difference. And at the end of this, we can sell the potato washer and the potato sorter. They have a resale value. Yeah, it's three ninety for premium. 290 for washed and for a standard potato only 167 uh, that's interesting that, that that price has changed because before weirdly washed potatoes were worth less than just straight out of the ground potatoes so that's good to see that's sorted out so if I didn't want to bother sorting them all I could just sell a load of washed potatoes for still quite a good price exactly £100 less though makes a difference. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is harvest that field and I'm going to see how much we get for a start and if it will fit into the Ferguson trailer that would be great. If not then it can just stay in the combine until this trailer is available again because I do need to unload this, that is full and this needs to be once again refilled. But yes, we, we will um, we'll jump into the combine in just a second and we'll harvest that oat field. I think it's an oat field. It'll give us a bit of extra money. Not too much. Maybe a thousand, two thousand pounds. I forget what it's worth. I was going to service the combine, um, I can't, oh, it's um, something you have to activate by hand, I, I'm not sure if there's another way of doing it, this combine seriously needs to be serviced, my pig food's in the way, yeah, will it work? No, uh, there is a maintenance menu. Can't click on anything. Um, right, okay. Uh, well, I think it's just going to make it slower, that's all, but it's barely, it's not a very big field. Okay, right, well, that's gone well. Pretty good, it's about 2,000 litres, I think. And yeah, I just had this brainwave to just put it straight into the silo. It seems to be the most obvious thing to do, because then we can just put it into the trailer when we're harvesting that huge fit over there. That really is a big field. It's absolutely gigantic. And this combine is, it would do it, um, but it would be a big job. Oh, my pallet forks are there. Mustn't run over them. Anyway, yeah, I'm just going to make sure everything is all sorted here. We'll refill the washer before we go to bed. And then we can go to bed. By the morning, the prices might be even better. It's a bit of a gamble, really. I just don't know what they're going to be doing. They might be better, they might be worse. The current price, it, it was 390 397 So I think it would be good to sell something 
to, well, something else today, just in case. But then, of course, supply and demand. Selling it might knock the price down for tomorrow when we're going to be selling the bulk of it. The damage might already be done since I've already sold some. I just don't know. You, you can never really predict it. So, yeah, I don't know what the best thing to do is. I do know I'm going to tip this. And I will empty the rest of it. I think some of it will be just sold as washed potatoes instead of premium. I haven't really made much of an impact on this pile. And I don't want this to go on for the next 30 episodes. So, I, yeah, it would be the easiest way. Uh, we'll, we'll definitely do some. Plenty of... Uh, sorted potatoes to make them premium but as the price is still pretty good uh, for standard washed potatoes we can clear some but as the price also is still increasing it would be silly to sell just standard washed potatoes now Well, there we go, everything is under control, everything is operating, you can see up here, of course I can't jump, but um, yeah, there we go, you can climb the handrail, yeah, fantastic, um, yep, nice washed potatoes going to there, full hopper there, so it is all working very well, it's being sorted, and I think I'm not going to sell any until the morning, the price is still that's interesting. Has that always been 380 or was it 390? I'm probably getting confused here. It probably was 290 and 380. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> um, yes, even so, the price is still going up. So by the morning, surely it's going to be more than 298 and 380. Let's find out. Well, we have 57,000 pounds. This must be full. Get that going again. The prices? Wow. <laughs> that is good. Sorry. Bit of an evil excitement laugh there. 461 uh, and 299. So that didn't really change the 299. Went up by one pound. But 461, that is incredible. Uh, that certainly makes doing um, sorted potatoes worthwhile. Much more so than before. And I think, yeah, the rear weight is working or the front weight on the back, but we could really do it a bit more. Don't do that. Not sure which weight is going to be the most suitable for us. Um, how heavy is that? F uh, 453 kilograms, so I think we'd be looking at something like this one here. That one looks nicer. Uh, it's pretty good, but yeah, we'll go for this. We can customise it though. Go for the Agco, Agco colour. So we can pick that up later. If I would probably, oh no, maybe not. I was going to say maybe we can have both, but yeah, they're going to clash. Okay, let me just uh, fill up this trailer, clear the mess up, and then we will head off and get our new weight and sell some more premium potatoes. It's almost full, probably two more bucket loads. Uh, I can imagine that'll be easy to achieve. This must be full. And as that bucket is filling, we'll also tip that. Made a clearing here. Can just about get through without crashing. Yeah, it needs to tidy a bit more. Nice day. Nice day for harvesting. The trailer is full. The bucket is full. And the machine has stopped once again because of the uh, 
the pig food, which is happily sitting there. So there's another pallet. I can only spawn one pallet at a time, I'm guessing that's how it should be. Just pushed out of the way. We have three. We need pigs. I don't know how we're going to have pigs because it's just not really worth... Actually, no, I say that. It's not worth having them if you don't have the pig food. It can be expensive, but we do have the pig food, so uh, yeah, that's funny. Um, maybe we could get an open pig enclosure and just get a few. Maybe it will be worth doing that. I don't know. Anyway, the, the, the weight which we currently have, we're going to keep it on the back for now. We'll put it in the buckets on the way back. Let's go and sell another 17... 17,230 litres. This is going to be good. Change of plan. The trailer is going to be filled with manure. The weight which is currently on the back is going to go on the front. And the new weight is going to go in the bucket. Because the greenhouse has stopped. As you would expect. I, 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 whenever I have a big job on, on the go, I always overlook it. It only takes a day to stop again. So, yep, we need manure and we need water. Bucket to begin with. Yep, that's definitely increased. And then for the trailer. Yeah, we should see some much more impressive numbers now. But that price is not going to stay forever. We are going to have to make the most of it. Almost empty. This is amazing. <laughs> we're going to be so close to getting the land today, but we're not going to get it today. Maybe tomorrow. So that's on top of the, what we had in the bucket. 6,689. Not bad at all. Right, let's spend some money on manure. Right, okay, I've got the weight in there. Fantastic. Don't fall out. Um, yeah, so, now that is done, we can head back, and I can um, finish things off for today. I'm going to finish with the greenhouse. I'll make sure it's all fully working for tomorrow, so we don't have to do anything. The is not 100% full, but that's fine. I just to make sure that weight doesn't fall out, because otherwise it's going to take me another... 10 minutes to pick it up and we probably won't have the assistance of a, a wall to help us as I just had then now we can't but well, we, we technically can unload the manure straight into the uh, fill point with this trailer but the trailer is a bit too low I think yeah, I think it's a bit too low so it is easier with the bucket and I think as we have an okay price for Wash potatoes. I will also sell one full trailer load of wash potatoes in this today. And then, yeah, we'll be continuing gradually with the sorted potatoes after that. But, yeah, the next episode is going to be looking at the, uh, the other field, the oat field. You think you know Okay, I think that's going to be the final IBC of water. Keep it going for some time. And now, finally, let's go and sell a full load of washed potatoes. I would pressure wash the trailer, but yeah, we're going to have to just go without. It's fine. There are only washed potatoes in them 
manure filled trailer. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it's not going to be anything as spectacular as seven or eight thousand pounds per trailer, but this is just really to clear the blockage. It's just it's continuously filled. The washer is always full. So getting fourteen and a half thousand litres out of it is really going to move things along. It means we can get a load more off the ground and into the washer. So that is another two hours of farming done on no man's land. Probably the video is like half an hour or something. Um, yeah, it really does cut down when you have to time lapse it. But it is a big job. I always knew it was going to be. But now we can see how much we can make. How close to £85,000 are we going to be? Uh, probably, I don't know, 10,000 short. No, 15,000 pounds short. But as soon as we have it, unless there's something important that we need to buy, we're going to be buying the new piece of land. I've been saying it for weeks, and it's going to happen. Come on, 70,000. Okay, a bit short. Right, 4337, still pretty good. We're going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.